Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. I want to say hi to all my live stream viewers. It's been a little while since I've seen you, though did see you last week with a great show that we had with my daughter, Erin. And if you missed that show, please be sure and catch it because we had so much fun. And Erin had a lot of great things to say about the story behind her latest book, Have Baggage, Will Travel. So those of you who follow this show know that Change It Up Radio is all about change. It's all about either spotlighting change makers or trying to bring information to help you better deal with change. Because the upheaval of change is a sometimes a very tricky process for a lot of us. And we need help. You know, we just need help figuring it out, whether that's your friends, whether that's a great webinar or a podcast or wherever you get that help. Sometimes help is just critical to healing. So my goal here on this show is to bring you that help and to just hopefully give you information that you can implement in your life easily and smoothly and right away so that whatever you're going through can become smoother and better and more productive. If you want to see or listen to past shows here on Change It Up Radio, because we've had some amazing guests. Oh my goodness, a few weeks back, we had Marilyn King talking about Olympian thinking. We've had uh, uh, Nikki Kao Hoho talking about, is peace possible? We've just had so many great shows and great people. And if you'd like to hear any of the past shows, you can either go to any of your podcast platforms or you can go to changeitupradio.com. And on changeitupradio.com, you will find past shows. You'll also find information about being a guest or a sponsor of this show. So changeitupradio.com is another place where you can get information about the show. Now, I am Paula Shaw, as you all know. I am an author, a speaker, a life transition coach, and of course, the host of this show and also of another podcast called Higher Energy that's produced by the Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology. And that is a wonderful show where we are interviewing some of the top names in the field of energy, energy psychology, energy therapies, energy and genetics. We've had some amazing guests on that show as well. And you can find that on any podcast platform too. Higher Energy is the title. And I work on that show with my co-host, Bob Schwartz, who is the executive director of the Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology. I think most of you know I'm a founding member of that association. I've been doing energy psychology work in my private practice for 28 years now, and it's amazing work because it really helps people bypass the conscious mind, get right into the subconscious where the power is, and really be able to make changes in their life more smoothly and more easily. So information about that, and by the way, you can get information on the association at Energy Psych, that's P-S-Y-C-H without the E, dot org, energypsych.org. All right. Oh, and one last thing. If you want to learn more about my work or talk to me about a, a private uh, complimentary consult, or doing work with me, or having me as a speaker at your event, you can get all that information on paulashaw.com. That's paulashaw.com. So what are we going to talk about today? I'm calling this show, What to Do When You Don't Know What to Do. And I'm calling it that for several reasons that are actually very 
shall I say, impactful and vivid and real in my own life today. I had a guest all scheduled for this show today, and I was really looking forward to the interview with him. His name is Court Davies, and he will be coming up in a couple of weeks, and you don't want to miss that show. He has been dealing with a rare form of cancer for three years, but rather than give up or let that get him down, he's developing work to help people work with meditation and mindfulness and other ways of making their lives significant in the moment, not just sitting around waiting for that cancer to take their lives away. So you don't want to miss Court Davies, but unfortunately, he's on the East Coast and a storm created a tornado that knocked out his electricity. And I found that out only an hour ago. So my decision was, uh-oh, <clears throat> do I play an old show? What do I do? And I decided life's not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain and riff. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to dance and we're going to riff. And I'm just going to chat about many things that I've been wanting to talk to you all about anyway. And hey, it's my show. I can do what I want to, right? How many of you go back to Leslie Gore? It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. You would cry too if it happened to you. <laughs> I don't deny that all the singing talent in my family went to my daughter. So that was just a little moment. We're playing today, right? We have to just be in the moment and see what comes up and what can we create when life gives us lemons. We got to figure out how to make some lemonade, right? So I, I started thinking about how important really is for all of us these days when the unexpected happens. Because the unexpected, by its very nature, is going to cause upheaval, right? You know, it's because we're rolling along and everything's smooth and we know what we're going to do next. And then it all explodes. Something happens. Today, for me, it came in a text. And, and what do we do? You know, we always have two choices. We can freak. We can, we can get angry or we can go hmm here's an opportunity let's see what i can create right here right now and so today truly across my mind you know next week's my vacation week and i'm kind of already getting in that mode and i thought you know i could just pull up an old show and and have them play that this week and then i thought no here's an opportunity to play with you guys to just see what comes up in the moment that feels good to talk about. And this idea of being able to roll with the punches, dance in the rain, you know, be flexible. My goodness, if this isn't the year to be learning that, I don't know what is, right? I mean, COVID-19 has offered us all that lesson in spades. Everything changed as of the middle of March. And it's funny because I was looking back at some pictures the other day, and there was my guest, Joy White Peacock, who was on this very show, there about the second week in March. And after the show, we went to have lunch together, and the restaurant was practically empty, and we're both looking at each other like, wow, people seem to be taking this very seriously. <laughs> And like two days later, shut down. That was the unexpected. That was the last thing in the world most of us thought was going to happen this year. And here we are, how many months later? March, April, uh, April, May, June, July, uh, almost five months later. And we're still dealing with the coronavirus and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. So we've had to learn a new way to live. We wear face masks now every time we go into a market or somewhere where we're going to be in public. We, I think we're, we're much more 
conscious of certain things, you know, like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't use nearly as much toilet paper as I used to because we all lived through seeing those empty shelves when we couldn't get any toilet paper, no matter where we went. I was lucky because I did some creative thinking early on and I scored. While the, the aisles were totally empty at Target, I went into Office Depot. Now, not many people think of buying toilet paper at Office Depot, but I did. And sure enough, I scored enough to get me through most of the shutdown. So that's just one example of unexpected upheaval that can change your life and cause big, big turmoil or big, big upheaval. What about the hurricane that's been going on here, the big storm in the east? That's why my guest had no electricity and couldn't get on the internet. Again, we got to move quick. We got to think in, in, in our place, you know, like think quickly, move quickly, do something new. But that's the bottom line. It's an opportunity. When upheaval comes, it's an opportunity for something new. It's an opportunity to do things differently. And I think if we can look at it more that way, we won't find ourselves nearly as upset about it and freaking out about it. You know, another example of that sort of thing is when a physical illness or physical problems or disabilities suddenly appear. Getting in an accident that inhibits your ability to do certain things. My sister took a fall and dislocated her shoulder a couple of months ago. That definitely impacted the way she's living her life, big time. A lot of things that she used to take for granted, like being able to reach behind her and hook her bra, not happening anymore. So again, we have to just in the moment say, hmm, Here's an opportunity for change. Here's an opportunity for something new. Here's an opportunity to do things a little differently than I've ever done them before. And one other example of those kinds of things that offer us opportunities for change, relationship issues. When those come along, whether it's a divorce, a breakup, a new relationship starting, meeting somebody great, Look out, new growth is on the way. A new opportunity for change, for growth, for new experiences and new excitement is on the horizon. So I think if we can all just get into how fun it is when change comes along and look at it positively instead of negatively, then we're much better off than we would have been. So. When we come back from this break, we're going to talk a little bit about stress because so often that is the normal, natural response to upheaval and change. All right, we'll be right back. So those of you here with me on Facebook who have done this before, you know that we're not really going anywhere. <laughs> but when my sound engineer gets this show in the studio, he will then put in the commercials. So right now, we're just going to get right into it and start talking about stress. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Do, 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 do. Just got to grab my other notes. <laughs> so funny how sometimes you create notes and they just disappear. But it's a day for dealing with upheaval in the moment, isn't it? <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. 
All right, so we're talking about what to do when you don't know what to do today. We're talking about unexpected change and upheaval and how that impacts us and what to do about it. Well, one of the things that naturally comes up when we have unexpected change and upheaval is we get stressed. You know, we start suddenly looking at, oh my God, I had a plan. It was supposed to go like this, and now we can't have it go like that. But stress, stress brings all sorts of dangers with it. Stress causes sleeplessness for over 42% of the people in this country and probably in the world. Many, many people report sleep issues because of stress. Stress causes problems in so many different areas that it's hard to even believe. But let's look at a few. Digestive issues. We all know that tightness in your stomach, that knot in your stomach you can get when stress is on the horizon. Headaches. Everybody at some point or another has had a stress headache that just pounding or, you know, at the base of migraines, and that's no pun intended, but, you know, underneath migraines is what? Stress. Stress causes those vessels to constrict, and that causes an amazingly painful experience. Stress causes muscle soreness and, and, and uh, aches and pains and um, what's the word I want for kinks? Uh, I can't think of it. Cramps in your muscles. Stress causes depressed mood. I mean, a lot of time when the stress gets huge, we just feel so overwhelmed that it's just like, forget it. I can't handle it. I, I, I'm just, I can't do it. I'm done. And you go back to bed and you pull the covers over your head, right? That's stress. It can cause that. It can make people really sad because they feel defeated. They feel that there's no way out. Overwhelm. You know, it's just more than people can take. Anger. Stress can bring up anger and irritability, can't it? Oh, yeah. It can be a real problem for creating that. And then that creates more problems. And then we get stressed over those problems. So you see how you can get into this downward cycle if you let your stress get away. Stress can cause anxiety. Stress can cause weight gain because sometimes we eat to help calm ourselves. We eat to soothe our stress and that leads to weight gain. Stress can cause decreased sex drive because when you're stressed and you're overwhelmed, the last thing you can think about is pleasure. But there's nothing you actually need more than pleasure to remind you that life is more than the stress you're currently experiencing. It can cause viral infections. Early on in COVID, many of you heard me warning, don't let, don't watch the news too much, especially not before you go to bed. Don't let your stress build because we all know that weakens the immune system and that leaves us vulnerable to viruses and infections. So we've got to get this stress under control, especially now. COVID-19 is still out there. It can lead to other immune disorders, you know, like uh, chronic fatigue and lupus and that sort of thing. Because when the body's immune system is not strong, we have problems and we're vulnerable. It can lead to heart disease, high blood pressure, and even strokes. I'm telling you, there is just not much that's positive about stress, except that sometimes it just gets us in motion. But here's the biggie, and we'll be talking a lot more about this in a couple of weeks with Court Davies, but stress is definitely connected with cancer. And none of us want to have to experience that. There are three major kinds of stress. So the one is the everyday kind of routine stress of work, family, pressures of responsibility, that kind of thing. 
then there's a kind of a stress that comes with a sudden upheaval, a death, a divorce, a breakup, finding out your partner's cheating on you, losing your job. These kinds of stress are another kind of stress that happens suddenly and really throw us for a loop. Those are the ones that I say just turn your world upside down. And then finally, there's traumatic stress that comes from major cataclysmic events like natural disasters, war, um, uh, accidents, a major accident that changes your life or changes your ability to do things the way you've always done them. So stress is not easy to deal with no matter what its source is. So let's talk a little bit about what are some things that you can do to help with your stress. And I'm just looking to see where I put those notes. Here we go. Stress. So first of all, we want to remember, stress is usually about something that's out of the moment. It either happened in the past or we fear it's going to happen in the future. So it's very, very important to bring ourselves into the moment. You know, like they say in 12-step programs, don't get out of your 24 hours. And sometimes it's really important to stay in this very minute right here <clears throat> because we may even get into fear about what could happen in an hour. So stress is critically important, uh, or dealing with stress, I should say, it's critically important to stay in this moment, right here, right now. It's good to get in touch with the thing you're actually stressed about. Think it through and ask yourself, how important is this really? Is this life changing? Is this earth shattering? Or am I just reacting to it in a big way myself? Because sometimes the things we worry about, nobody else would worry about. Or, you know, in another 15 or 20 minutes, it's going to be gone. Or everybody will talk about it for like a fast five minutes, and then they're moving on to talking about themselves because everybody's most focused on their own life. So think about your stress. Is it really worth the aggravation and the, and the emotional upheaval it's causing you and the physical damage. Another important way to help with stress is, so coming into the moment and a good way to do that is through meditation. Meditation, boy, that's my go-to. I don't start a single day without meditating because quieting yourself and going inside helps to tune you into that inner voice. That's where the wisdom is. That's where the God voice is. That's where we can come up with a creative solution for a problem that we never would get to if our mind is racing and the energy is moving in a zillion different directions. So be still, go inside, and allow the answers to come from within, the answers that will solve your stressful situation. Another thing that's really important to do is some kind of a, you know, if you're not one who can sit still and meditate, perhaps you can benefit from a practice like Tai Chi or Qigong or yoga. Again, quieting mind and body and bringing it all together in the same place. When the body and the mind are in two different places, we're usually in distress, anxiety, regret something that's not good. And remember, the only time you're truly alive in your life is when your body and your mind are in the same place. So let's bring body and mind together so we can eliminate stress. Of course, we all know it's important to eat healthy. Healthy food keeps the body well nourished and that helps to avoid stress. When you're going through stress, not a good time to drink a lot of coffee or caffeine drinks because that can really, really create a big problem for you and, and just amp you up even more. 
I find exercise is huge for dealing with stress. It really makes a difference for me. So get out and move, whether you run, ride a bike, walk briskly, punch a punching bag, kick a, a kickboxing bag, or you know, do heavy cardio. Whatever you need to do that works for you, do that because you've got this energy buildup and you need to get it out so it doesn't cause damage from within. Time in nature can be another biggie. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm so excited because next week is my vacation and I will be in the Sierras by a beautiful lake at a little cabin my family's been going to for about 27 years. And I can't wait. That is my little paradise de-stressor week that we do every year. But, but just get outside. Savor the blue sky. Savor the new growth savor flowers and plants and just be grateful that it's all part of your world and just sometimes journaling by the way can help but but i feel like just coming into the moment in a state of gratitude is one of the wisest things we can do to help with stress so be grateful for your strong healthy body be grateful the sky is blue be grateful for the breeze. Be grateful for your friends and your family, for new growth. There are so many things to be grateful for if we're looking for them. And if, we, if we're looking for them, we will find them. But if we're not looking, how can we find them? All right. We're going to go to a little break right now. And we will be back in just a few moments and continue our riffing discussion today. All right, we'll be right back. Oh, dear. All right, <clears throat> my Facebook friends, I'm going to bring this back. <clears throat> Welcome back to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. In our last segment, we were talking about ways to deal with stress. And we all know that stress is a killer. It truly is literally a killer. And sometimes we need to, re we need to remember this about stress. Stress isn't something that exists the same way for everybody. Stress is an individual's perception and response to a given circumstance. So what stresses me might not bother my friend Robin at all. What stresses her might not bother her husband at all. So stress is, is very, very much about the individual and how your brain is perceiving and responding to the circumstances. Sometimes it's really helpful for us to work to retrain the brain. And that's what they do in a lot of cognitive behavioral thinking therapies. You know, you learn different ways to think about something or to reframe it. For example, in the beginning of this show, I said, when unexpected change comes, you know, there, we can freak out, we can go to the negative, we can get angry, or we can look at it as an opportunity to do something different for new growth, for new experience. So that's an example of reframing the same situation and taking it from the panic anger mode into the, ooh, excitement and growth mode. Let's try doing this. That's what we're all about today in this show. We're just kind of hanging out together and riffing because my guest is in the middle of some bad weather in the East and no electricity. So how we see something makes a big difference. And we were talking about ways to deal with stress. Uh, one I didn't really get into too much is journaling. 
it's sometimes really good to write those thoughts down, to think it through. And you know what? One of the things I, I want to be sure that I'm clear about with you all, when you're feeling upheaval from stress, I mean, hey, if, if a tornado just blew the roof off your house, obviously you're not going to sit in a zen-like pose and say, oh, what is coming next? No, you're going to be upset. And I want to be very clear, when we have real emotion, whether it's because someone died or we lost our job or our child is hurt or whatever life brings our way, it's critical to experience that emotion, express that emotion. Don't try to put it down. Don't go to stalwart and calm in the midst of a real deal. Because what happens is that emotion is not going away. It's going to sit there and it's going to build. It, and remember, it takes energy to push an emotion down. And that energy is, is energy, A, that you're wasting because you're using it on that. But sometimes that emotion that got pushed down turns into something you don't want. It can turn into a heart problem or cancer or some other kind of ailment. Remember, when the, weakened, the immune system is weakened, the body is vulnerable. So we want to do everything we can to keep the body, mind, and spirit strong. So we got to nip this stress in the bud. And one of the things I often recommend to clients who are genuinely in a state of upheaval, something has happened that they just can't let go of. They don't understand why. It's kind of one of those why me God experiences. And when that comes along, you can't just take a deep breath and let it pass. So there's a little exercise that I recommend that I call the rant. And there's two ways to do the rant. Actually, there's three. One way is you get a really good friend who's known you for a while, not a new friend. Trust me, that will not work. A really good friend or family member who will not judge you, who understands that you've got to blow off this steam. And you just ask them to sit quietly with no comments and no expressions on their face that would indicate judgment or anything. And then you just let it rip. You scream, you rant, you rave, you swear, you pound on pillows, you do whatever you need to do. And you let it go. Girls, there's no being ladylike when you're doing this. And you can swear like a sailor, and sometimes that is the best thing you can do. This process, number two way to do it, is to do the exact same thing, but without anybody in the room. Because it's really difficult for anybody to stay neutral. And if you suspect judgment, or you suspect that somebody is not pleased, or that they're even frightened by what you're saying and what you're doing, that will inhibit your process. I also recommend to people, don't do this when the children are home or even your husband or your wife. It's best to do this in private. In fact, I have been known to drive down the freeway doing this. And believe me, it's a little frightening for people <laughs> who drive by me, but I don't care. I'm never going to see them again. And at least I'm not horrifying somebody that I know or love. And the third way to do this is writing it out. You can just type up a storm or handwrite it, whatever you need to do, but say everything you want to say. Don't worry if you say some hideous thing that you can't believe you uttered, because we all have a shadow side. And if we don't work through what's lurking in there, then it stays in there and it's still lurking. So the rant can be a very powerful process for working through these emotions. Um, and then, as I said, sometimes we can go in the other direction, and that is to go to meditation, to breathing exercises. Oh, breathing can be such a good one. 
Um, in fact, one of my favorite breaths for calming is what they call square breathing. So it goes like this. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. Hold out, two, three, four. Do it with me now. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. Hold out, two, three, four. That works for a couple of reasons. One, bringing oxygen into the brain is important. It's calming. It helps us to avoid a panic attack or feeling totally out of control. The other thing is that while you're counting and focusing on that, you're coming into the moment. Remember I said, most of your stress lives in the future or the past. So you want to come into the moment. Nine out of 10 times, right here, right now, we're safe. We're okay. There's a roof over our head. There's food in the cupboard. You know, things are okay. I'm able to draw breath. My body is okay. So focus on that. Focus on how okay you are in the moment. And that can be really helpful. Now, I mentioned in the last segment, gratitude. And one of the reasons gratitude is so helpful is because the energetic vibration of gratitude is very, very high. The energetic vibration of stress is way down here. And if you can move to gratitude, you bring your vibration up. And that way, you're in a much better position to be coming from an advantageous place rather than a place that's going to take you into an illness or a deeper slump or enhancing the anger or whatever else you may be feeling. So remember, gratitude. And here are some ways that I like to play with gratitude. Make a, a list of everything you're grateful for. And nothing's off limits. You can love the way your hair turned out today. You can love that, that your eyes are, are clear and that you can see beautifully. You can love your weight. You can love the outfit you're wearing. You can love the flowers that are blossoming. You can be grateful that the sky is blue. There have been times in my life when I was so stressed and in so much emotional pain all I could find to be grateful for was that we had a roof over our heads, warm blankets on the beds, and food to eat. And sometimes it's that, that simple. But that's something to be grateful for, and that moves you into a much better space. Doing a gratitude walk is one of my favorite things. You just get outside and just start looking at things that light you up and make you feel grateful new flowers, the fact that your neighbor weeded that mess that you've been looking at for weeks, um, the air being fragrant. Oh, this spring, the, there are so many beautiful fragrances that came back. So uh, getting outside, just breathing fresh, clean air, that helps me a lot. Get to the ocean if you can, because being near the ocean brings up a lot of negative ions, which are actually great for your body. And oh, put your bare feet on the earth or your butt on the earth, because the electrons from the earth come up and really do improve your body physically, mentally, and emotionally. That's called earthing. So these are just some ways that have come to me off the top of my head that are great ways to help with stress. And I'm sure you know others too, and I'd love to hear about them. You might write them in the chat and, and let me know. We'll talk about those in a future show. All right, we will be right back after this break. See you in a minute. Okay, live stream viewers, we are just gonna come on back. 
<clears throat> Welcome back to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. I'm so glad that you have been with me in this show today. Oop, I'm going to take just a moment and I'm going to redo that because <laughs> twice now I have forgotten to set my little time clock and uh, it's a little scary when suddenly I have no idea where in my 11 minutes and 30 seconds I am. So, Facebook viewers, thank you for being with me. Here we go. We're going to start that one more time. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. Well, we've had some fun today, I think, in this show. As uh, if you didn't catch the very beginning, I mentioned that my scheduled guest had to let me know an hour before recording time that he was unable to do the show because he's in an area that was hit by a tornado and there's no electricity. So that inspired me to do a show called What to Do When You Don't Know What to Do and to talk to you all about being flexible, handling your stress when upheaval, unexpected upheaval comes into your life. Because let's face it, we're all going to have unexpected upheaval, if not daily, at least weekly and or monthly. It comes. It's just part of the dinner, right? It's part of the deal. Life has unexpected events. And we all really need to improve our skills in how we deal with those unexpected events. Because otherwise, they're going to get us. It's sort of like manage your stress or it will manage you. Because for most people, unexpected events bring up stress. And if we don't have a go-to way to help us handle that stress, it's going to start running us. It's going to have us. It's going to be the puppeteer and we're going to be the puppet on the strings. And most of the time that doesn't turn out too well. So my suggestion is figure out what method works for you. In the last segment, I gave you several methods. And in the segment before, we talked about many methods. And there are also tools that I love, I've talked about in the past, like, like the Eon phototherapy patches that are made by LifeWave. They have no drugs or chemicals. Uh, we talk about them on the show all the time, but they're anti-stress and anti-inflammatory. So if you're feeling like you can't come up with a way to help with your own stress, I highly recommend those Eon patches. And you can contact me to get information about how to get them and learn more about them. But that's a fabulous thing to do. So figure out what works for you. Figure out what you need to help you better deal in the moment with life's unexpected upheavals so that when they show up, you'll be ready for them and you can still cruise through your experiences with some calm, with some grace, and with some ease. So some other things I want to just briefly talk about in this segment. Uh, if any of you are first-time listeners to this show, please either go to YouTube if you want to see the videos or go to changeitupradio.com or your favorite podcast platform. We're on all of those places. And just check out some of our past shows. Oh my goodness, we have had such amazing people on the show and we've got even more amazing people coming up. As I mentioned earlier, uh, in two weeks, Court Davies, who has done an amazing TED Talk on stress and cancer and ways that we can help ourselves by being mindful and using meditation and just supporting each other in dealing with huge upheaval like cancer. He'll be with us in two weeks. Uh, Marilyn King, a couple of weeks ago, talked about Olympian thinking, how with vision and action and, and um, passion, we can create extraordinary results. That's an amazing show. Last week, my beautiful daughter, Erin Shaw, really talked about the theme of making lemonade out of lemons. She just 
described to us how she went through a very difficult breakup and a very difficult time in her life. And instead of just going into a depression or going back to bed and pulling the covers over her head, she went on the road and she discovered new people, new places, new understandings about herself and new growth. And she talks about all of that in her new book, Have Baggage, Will Travel, which is fiction, but it's based on, uh, loosely based, she likes to say, on her experiences on the road. Oh my goodness, there are so many shows. I could spend a whole show talking about past shows. <laughs> but please check us out. Listen to some of our past shows because we really try here at Change It Up Radio to bring you great people and great information to help you deal with change, to help you be better able to handle those unexpected events and unexpected upheavals that happen when change arrives. Um, also, some of you may want to check out some shows that I have done during COVID uh, on YouTube, on my Paula Shaw counseling channel, or on the Change It Up, I believe it's on the Change It Up radio channel on YouTube. You can find highlights from the Silver Linings playbook. And during that, that was one of my ways of trying to find a positive thing to do when the fear and the panic and the negativity that all existed in, in abundance when COVID first began, that was my way of trying to cope with it. So I went on here, Facebook Live every day and brought you news from around the world that were positive things that were going on as a result of the virus. So you might wanna check out Silver Line, highlights from the Silver Linings Playbook, which you will also find on the Change It Up Radio channel on YouTube and all those other places I mentioned. Uh, another little show I decided to start doing was Light Your Way to Health and Wellness. Because I realized that like those LifeWave patches that I talked about a little while ago, the phototherapy ones with no drugs and chemicals, there were things that, that I have talked about that, or that we've done shows on in the past that all of you don't know. And they really help with your health and, and with your ability to stay healthy and function at your best every day of your life. And by the way, on the last segment of Light Your Way to Health and Wellness, I interviewed Bob Hertz, who is one of the owners and founders of SciTech, that's spelled P-S-Y-T-E-K. And SciTech is a research facility here in Encinitas, California, in the San Diego area. But the most important thing, oh, they've done a lot of amazing research, by the way. They've, they've researched those LifeWave patches I talked to you about. They've researched earthing. They've done all this amazing stuff. One of their head researchers, uh, Gaetan Chevalier, he, or Gaetan Chevalier, I'm sorry, Gaetan, I didn't say that right the first time. Uh, he's been on this show. You might want to look back in some of our past shows and see the show with Gaetan. But one of the things SciTech is offering right now, and I know this is a big thing for a lot of people, a lot of you want to get tested. A lot of you want to know if you're okay, because as we all know, it's possible to be asymptomatic and still have the virus and still be able to pass it to someone else. Well, if you either go on sci-tech, P-S-Y-T-E-K, Dot com, or if you call SciTech and you can either have them mail you, so if you're not in the San Diego area, you can still get a test kit for only $45 and you will have your results in 10 minutes. It's a simple pinprick blood test that looks for antibodies. It's very simple. Bob explained it in that last show, which you could find by either scrolling down on the Facebook page or go to the Light Your Way to Health and Wellness shows on our Change It Up Radio YouTube channel. But that's SciTech. And you can find them. I don't have the phone number. I would give you that right now. But be sure and check that out 
because it's a great way to give yourself peace of mind. If you fear that you've been exposed, but you're not feeling particularly sick, you may want to have this test so that you can know for sure. In fact, this week, both my son and I will be doing that test because we're going to be traveling together to the Sierras and we're going to see other relatives of ours up there and we wanna be sure that we're safe with each other and we're safe for others. So I'm so excited about that test. I, I'm shouting it from the rooftops. And you know what, in fact, I think I can give you the number here if I can look it up really quickly on my phone because of course I'm always uh, LMNOP. <laughs> um, here we go. So the number to call SciTech if you want to find out about either getting a test in the mail or coming in for a test, you don't have to wait days for the test and you get your results in 10 minutes. You can't pass up that. And the number is 760-733-6000. Tell them you heard about it on this show and they'll get you in or they'll get your test in the mail. It's a very, very cool deal and a very cool opportunity. And the other really cool thing I want to mention to you is we are now on a new platform, podcast platform called Podopolo. P-O-D-O-P-O-L-O. -O -O. And Podopolo is a really unique and fabulous platform. So download the app and check us out on Podopolo. And of course, as you know, we are on AM 1170 and 96.1 FM here in San Diego every Sunday evening at 9. We're on every major podcast platform, and we're also on iHeartRadio and Blog Talk Radio. So that's our show today. Thank you for riffing with me and for playing along and, and, and together learning how to dance when it's raining instead of waiting for that storm to pass. It was great fun playing with you today. Thank you for being here with me. And I will see you. Oh, by the way, I will not be seeing you here online next week because I will be in paradise in the Sierras. But the week after, we'll be back again on Change It Up Radio with Court Davies. All right. Take good care, everybody. Be safe. See you soon.